We'll begin our discussion on this occasion with a nice cloud of Dominican cigar smoke. And Dominican cigars are a wonderful thing. So, there's another little blast for you. On this occasion, we are happy to welcome you to join us in a hard look at the Boss Chorus Ensemble. Now, everybody's got a chorus pedal. There's so many out there to choose from. It's almost comical. And there's a lot of wonderful chorusing pedals out there. And God knows the Boss Chorus Ensemble, this product has been around a good long time, man, and I mean decades. But it's such a great pedal for such specific reasons. I thought it might behoove us to have a gander at it on this occasion because some folks out there simply don't know about it. They know there's a couple of Boss Choruses out there that do a fine job. But the chorus ensemble specifically has a secret feature, a secret feature, cheers, by the way, a secret feature that makes it surpass its competition. Let me put it that way. So the array of controls on this wonderful little device are effect level, of course, which is the ratio of dry signal to wet signal. It's got a rate or a speed control for the waiver like any good chorus should. It's got a depth control for the depth of the cycle, like any good chorus should. And when we set these things off at their standard detail positions, which is noon, we get a... Typical, but wonderful chorus sound. It really is a great sound unto itself. So it's... It's a beautiful sound, and we all know what a chorus does, but this particular device has a fourth secret feature called a filter. And what the filter does is it allows you to attenuate the amount of chorus affected in either the high part of the frequency spectrum or the low part of the frequency spectrum. So let's demonstrate the low, low end filter capacity feature first. So what I've done, I've got the ratio, the effect level set 50-50, 50 dry, 50 wet. I've got the rate control set at noon. That's about as fast as a normal chorus and a backing track would go. I've got the depth set at noon, but I've got the filter set so that the chorus effect is concentrated on the lower frequency. So... So if you hear those higher notes, they're relatively dry. If you hear the lower notes, they're far more affected by the chorus. And I'm going to demonstrate that even further by using our neck position, which tends to emphasize the lower end of the frequency spectrum. Heavily affected right now, heavily affected, even at noon settings, and hear those higher notes? They're drier by a quite fair distance. High notes dry. So that's an interesting effect to be able to utilize. And of course, you can dial these controls anywhere between zero and full. I've got the, the lower portion of the filter, the bass notes dialed up all the way and the high register dialed all the way out. So let's reverse that. Let's put the filter settings so that the higher notes are focused on with the effect and I'm dialing out the lower frequency. So we'll play the same kind of sequence relatively dry, very, very shimmery. High notes are very shimmery now. Dry, wet, relatively dry, very, very wet. 
And you can get some interesting effects using this, and especially if you're recording with this device. This is a great boon to your recording versatility. And now I'm going to kind of blend the two in the middle so you can just kind of hear the full effect of this lovely device. So in and of itself, it's a beautiful chorus pedal, but the fact that you can attenuate the chorus effect on your choice of higher or lower frequencies or any point in between makes this a very, very, very special device. And it gives you so much more capability than a regular chorus device does. Now I'm gonna dial the high end all the way up or, and I'm gonna dial the low end all the way out. And I'm gonna let you hear that clean. So we've got the higher notes with the chorus effect and the lower notes are almost completely devoid of it. Let's step into our distortion. Even in the lead passages, the lower notes are drier and the higher notes have that shimmer on them. You can really hear it in that chord. So very much more so with the distortion on, can you hear the fact that the lower notes are dry and the upper notes are wet? Let's reverse it. Let's dial out the high end chorus and dial in the low end chorus. Very, very distinctive difference. The high notes are dry as a bone. The low notes are shimmering. So it makes for some interesting effects to say the least. You can even hear it in the lead passages dry. shimmering with chorus. So you can dial any point in between on the low and the high filter. You can mix and match your sound. You can do all kinds of interesting things. But basically what you've got here is not only a sweet sounding standard chorus, but you've got a chorus with remarkable tonal versatility because of that filtering effect. So that's it. That's the Chorus Ensemble by Boss. I know it's been around a long time and I know that a lot of you are already familiar with it. But this video is for those of you who were not familiar with it. And we are very grateful that you joined us for this quick look at this wonderful gadget. You guys know Boss. It's really, really tough, rugged, reliable, last you a long time into the future type build quality. The component quality is excellent and the sound quality is always excellent. And now you've got that bonus feature. So take a look. If you've never played through one, play through one. You might decide it's your go-to course. I did, and I love this thing. It's a beauty. And we are so glad to have you here on this occasion. Please join us again, and please hit subscribe. Subscribe, man. Come back and join us again. We're going to do a lot more fun product very soon in the future. Good night to you.